previously on this game. <laughs> That's really good. What's going on? And welcome everybody to the new game. My name is Tom. This guy is playing. That guy's Dan Roy. Hi. You made it happen. You made the thing happen. It's just like you said, so except good. this wasn't Sandstorm. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah. It was nice. He's uh, his own theme song to his murder. Uh, <laughs> I just love that the Teletubbies killed each other. You know, one killed the other one. Good times. Yeah. And then that one became a giant dick. Yeah. A giant. They're playing some Ace Attorney <laughs> Investigations today. Uh, Miles Edgeworth edition. Yes. We completed an investigation where one blue badger, when one blue badger hates another blue badger, they tend to kill each other. With guns. With, With guns. guns. Real dangerous type. Let's find out what badger did it. Let's find out what badger did you. Let's find out what bad. Let's badger. I think it was a mushroom. Mushroom. <laughs> badger, 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 mushroom. Oh, Ooh. right. Look, there's a dead badger there. Oh. I think we're about done with this room. So what's next? Well, we found a few answers. But there are still a few things left that I we have to ask a certain person about. Let's go, Kay. Kay. No, That's stop, my name. Stop doing that. Kay. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> who, hey. Are you, who are you hanging out with? K. No, like, who are you hanging out with? K. Your messages are so short and you just. <laughs> it's like you don't care to give me an answer. K. There you go again. <laughs> ah, Mr. Edgeworth, sir! You gotta hurry, sir, come on! What is it, Detective? Take that blue badge costume down in front of the main gate, sir! What? <gasps> Isn't that the one the kidnapper was wearing? He said hi to you in the beginning of the, of the game. Remember when you walked in? You Son of a bitch! Bingo! That's why you gotta come to the main gate with me right now. If we hurry, we might still be able to get there before the whoop boy does. All right, let's make haste to the main gate. <laughs> yes, quick <laughs> post haste. Make haste. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's all we missed. Ah... Oh. Why did no one say we could go? Uh, they probably tried. No, no, no See, one. We did. don't care. What? Chat what? telling us when we should should actually end, and us not reading it. I don't think that would happen. No, no. Good chat, you guys. Well, chat. That was why'd fun. you do it? What? Do this to us. Oh God. Look at these robotic movements. Wee. Where's the costume, Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> oh, just on the other side of that fountain, sir. Oh, oh no! God, no, they decapitated him. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? Was it out here in the open all along? Oh no, no, it was discovered in the tall grass back there, the grassy knoll, if you will. Yeah, one of the cops was walking through there, all of a sudden, some music started playing, and he was in an interaction. Moved uh, out here in order to examine it more uh, thoroughly. And let's get down to it. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Okay, I'm ready. So nice, Edgy uh, says it twice. It's the Blue Badger's body section. What a waste. How so? Going through all the trouble to steal his costume only to throw it away in the end? <laughs> oh, we found the. Uh, Are we to be considered a furry? Uh. uh it's, a, it's called the Blue Badger. <laughs> I don't care to think about it more than I already have. <laughs> <laughs> a real thief wouldn't do such a thing. No, nope, no way. I wouldn't think a real thief would steal something so gaudy to begin with. <laughs> now I look into your soul. This headpiece. Mm. This must be the blue badger mm. Officer Meekins crossed paths with. Oh, I've been nervous someone throwing a blue badger away like this. It was so hard to create this character is like my baby. How could someone do this, sir? How? Detective, 
How about channeling your anger towards finding the culprits? Yeah, good idea. Oh, wait until I get my hands out. So where are they, Mr. Edward? Why don't you try figuring it out yourself for a change? Jeez. Oh. I guess I'm supposed to look at this. What do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's another pendant. That's two treasures in one day. How lucky is that? Right, and hey, right. this pretty baby's made of platinum silver too. Cool, so it kind of makes like a Pegasus then. Another pendant on top of the one we found on Mr. Deacon. Is it possible that these two... Hold oh, it right there. Mm. Hey, baby. Hands off, Mr. Prosecutor. You know how to cross the line, don't you? Uh. A pendant, though, no? is a very decisive piece of evidence. How can you tell? Look here and read off what you see. Uh. Lauren! <gasps> hey! It's a name that's engraved on this! It's a name that's engraved on this. No way! The butler and Lauren? Scandalous! Well, she is dressed like a maid. Hmm. <gasps> Wait, she's Lauren P though. Yeah. Maybe maybe, maybe, we're, maybe we're just missing a line. What? What? Uh huh. Have you now, Miss Kidnapper? No, no, you don't understand. I, I. Who is this guy? I would not call my girlfriend Lolly. Lolly. Out of there's there's several yes. ravioli, ravioli. Don't call your girlfriend uh -huh. reasons why no. that's wrong. But her it's name is Lolly Pops. No, it's Lolly. A Lolly. Lolly. Lolly's bad. Lolly is like I, at least I, something you can lick. Well, and not I, get in think, trouble. I think I think I think that's Lolly's in Lollipop. Like yeah, his yeah, little yeah. Lollipop well, or whatever. Course, but it's else. still wrong for that reason. Lolly. I get Lolly. Lollipops. It's still wrong. I don't want to call my girlfriend something I put in my mouth. My little sugar pop. <laughs> Just kidding. Why? We do a phrasing. We're doing phrasing. We do a phrasing. We do a phrasing. Yes, we do a phrasing. I don't know, man. But then oh, you. Oh jeez. I just gotta. Oh man. But I'm sure. Oh man. I'm sure that she calls you a dick sometimes. Ah. <laughs> ah. See, ah, it goes one ah. way and not the other. Ah. Both streams derail. There not we like go. Not like Clay though. Could you imagine? Uh. Could you imagine how many heads you'd turn in an anime convention though? Uh. That's my girlfriend, Lolly. Fuck is this? <laughs> Where? In, in the FBI. wild? A real one in the wild? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Damn it. So who was Lance? Uh, Lance, uh, Lance wears the pants. I believe I was Lance. No, I don't know. Do you <laughs> He's Lance? also the lead singer for Fall Out Boy and Panic at the Disco simultaneously. Uh, yes, uh, at, the same time. <laughs> at the same time. Pan Panic at the chimed in with it. Haven't you ever people heard of... No, wait, that's... I don't know, Who's Raphael. That? I don't know if it sounds different, because Lollipop is also with two L's. Explain that science dictionary dropped. Well, that's why it's lowly. Yeah, is it lowly? Ravioli, ravioli. Lowly. Lowly? It, it's lowly, technically. Well, because it's Lo Japanese. Lolita, right, or whatever Based, it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Lolita would be a single L. L-O-L-I-T-A. Yeah, L -L exactly. well, that's, what, that's what Lolita. I'm saying. That's what I'm, so I'm agreeing with you. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I understand. Lolita. I don't know. I don't know how it was normalized Sorry. one way or the other, but... Oh, man. Anyway, <laughs> so I think that's Lolly, if anything. Yeah. Lolly pop. Yeah, yeah, that's Lolly. Lance. But uh, Lance was uh, Amano's son that got kidnapped. Yeah. In case you needed that. Well, because in Yandroid asked who uh, Lance was. No, who is Lance voice? Wise. Yeah. Oh! oh! I, I, I know who Lance is. I think it was me. Okay. I, I, I just wasn't sure which one of us was doing Lance. Hmm. <laughs> Give him a Lance. <laughs> Lauren's doing Lance. Miss oh, Pops no, was one not. of the kidnappers? Hey, Luna. Oh, Luna. Silence. Oh! Yes. It was me, my Lance hostage. Is this before or after she sent him 65,000 text messages? Based love on the square root of three. <sighs> so, Miss Pomps is one of the kidnappers. But even knowing that, I can't call this case solved or over. Hmm. Hey, guys. Case closed. Get the car ready, and I mean the special one for this young lady. Ooh, is it a hearse? It. Ooh, that's dark. Huh. Again, Mr. Prosecutor, 
What is it this time? Are you proposing that Miss Pops is also the culprit in this murder case? Then what happened? Then what happened? I thought Officer Meekins was your suspect. I found it. Found what? That officer's gun, he literally dropped in the middle of a thick patch of grass. Literally. Your country's police are a sham. Just look at how careless they are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. I, you really can't defend that. No, they're. No. Oh my! Like Detective Gumshoe is just the most sweet bean, but yeah, he's not solved a crime in his 24 years. No, Meekins is their best ace, ace police officer, and he is a disaster. I don't know. I think Marshall might have been the best police officer they had. Yeah, and he was. A, and he took breaks he a, to get burritos. Okay, okay. The Japanifornia police force is the equivalent to Average Joe's dodgeball team uh, from dodgeball. Yeah. Wow. It oh, really is. I, I know. Right? <laughs> it really is. Is Meekins the one that gets the girl in the end? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, he is. Nice. Uh, you get yours, Meekins. Yeah. No. Obviously, uh, 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 Marshall is the pirate. Pirate. Yeah. The pirate. Marshall's right? yeah, the yeah, pirate. Yeah, yeah. Gumshoe <laughs> is the the guy with the glasses. Who, oh, who works out really? Yeah. Who tries really hard tries and is so a super hard. sweet guy, but he's yeah. like, you know. Like that, and yeah. then of course Phoenix Wright and Edgeworth oh, are, yeah. are team captains. Oh uh, yeah, Vince Vaughn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are combined into Vince Vaughn. Yeah. Uh, Pirate okay. Steve, exactly. Yeah. It, it, honestly, it syncs up really well. <laughs> really well. Pirate Steve, what were you calling a sham? The officer's gun didn't show signs of having been fired, so it can't be the murder weapon. So, Officer Meekins has been cleared of all charges. I see. Honestly. Justin Long would play Meekins in the Edge. Or oh in, yeah, in, in live action Ace yeah. Attorney movie. Okay, not gonna lie, I have a huge crush on Ju crush on Justin Long. Really? He's yeah. a he's a, a quirky he's guy. A, he's, he's got yeah, that. Like quirky guys. You know, he's filled out well. He used to be like kind of like lanky. Lanky. Yeah. yeah. Well, he filled out a little bit. Yeah. What's like, one of the? Gym? I'll always remember him from those Apple commercials. Oh yeah, he yeah. killed those Apple commercials. He did. <laughs> I'm a Mac and I'm a PC. Oh god. Uh, and that's when when a new brand new suspect comes walking onto the scene. And if you guys don't know what's going on, then educate yourself and watch Dodgeball. It's one of the greatest movies ever made. <laughs> the murder only happened because the kidnappers started fighting amongst themselves. As I recall, it was you who said that. Right, Mr. Prosecutor? <sighs> Miss Pops, did you... Did you really kill Mr. Deacon? I. Yes, I killed him. I don't believe her. Why are you lying? I don't Lolly? believe her. I don't believe her. Why are you a liar? I don't believe Lolly? her for a second. I. I can't believe it. Me neither, Kay. <laughs> Thanks for the confession. Objection! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Neosi, dude. That's the only good excuse I uh, I can accept. They mm -hmm. don't have time to watch Dodgeball because they're too busy reading the dictionary. Oh, Working up it. a mental sweat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Agent Lang, it's too much too early to declare this case closed. <laughs> That's golden. <laughs> Neosi, Neo dude. Neosi, dude? Neosi, dude? I don't know. Neosi, dude, maybe. Neosi, dude. Mm -hmm. Look at you. You're so, so sure of yourself. Cocky dick. We've got the culprit's own confession and some very incriminating evidence. Honestly, I'm with the police on this one. It's a pretty, pretty straightforward. Yeah, uh, I did it. Oh, oh, oh hold it. No. What more could you ask for? Have you guys uh, seen that video of like a house was on fire and the, uh, the the fireman came, put it out, and the news crew's like interviewing a guy? And, oh, I think I. I and I, it's I, like so. Why do you think someone did it? And the guy's like, I did it. <laughs> like, well, why? So you could all be here. <laughs> and then he walks up to the police and he's like, hey, I did it. And then they arrest him. <laughs> nice. Miss <laughs> Lowen Pumps. <laughs> yes? Like, it's just the, the I, I don't know why they're allowed to do this. This like, this like junkie pose where she's like, don't touch my brush <laughs> <laughs> Precious. Yes. Yeah, yes. I want to hear it from you. Oh. <laughs> Tell me your side of all that happened today, from the kidnapping to the murder. But why? 
I, I, I'm, I'm the kidnapper and the killer. This is oh. bad enough. Oh, no, 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 don't do it. She got a hostage, everybody. I don't know why we're letting her hold sharp objects. Oh my God, don't do it. I don't know. There are too many anime girls that cut their hair for plot or other reasons. It's just silly. End this madness. Please don't. It's fine if you're the one behind everything, but only if that is the truth. Exclamation point. Now then, will you tell us the truth? Or is there some reason why you can't? Boy. I've had a change of heart. I think I'd enjoy seeing you silk away after the losing month. Oh, I see. <laughs> he's using uh, a dog imagery and stuff because, yeah, like because he wolf. looks like a wolf. Yeah. I, I get it. Yeah. Uh, well, think you're well, funny, Lang? You're not funny, you Lang. All right, you heard me. Let's hear about all the evil deeds you committed today, you naughty girl. I bet you Lang ate his children. Sick fuck. He's <laughs> a little too quiet. Okay. Oh. Miss Pop's confession. What's up, Pops? I would want. I would want to hang out with someone named Pops. It's cool. The <clears throat> one who came up with the kidnapping plan was the butler, Mr. Deacon. He knew that he could get rich by holding Lance hostage. Mr. Romano would pay anything to get his son back after all. Everything was going according to plan, but as soon as we got the money, Mr. Deacon turned on me and tried to kill me. Mm. There. Are you satisfied? She just confessed to her crimes. A second time. Why is he so big beside her? Because he's fucking huge, and she's a it's small girl. Huge. They, they literally called her Lolly. What more do you want? Oh, I want less, actually. <laughs> you want Lance? You want Lance? I, want, I want, you want Lance, Lance and his apparently. Yeah, it must be. Lance whom yeah. wears the pants. <laughs> at least you have the guts to admit what you've done. Ah, uh, Mr. Sawyer's like I can Sorry, at least respect that much. Could you read that again, but replace every word with bork? Bork, 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 bork. Bork, I, I bork, imagine that's bork, exactly bork. what Edgeworth hears. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Pops, is what you said really the truth? Yes, it, it is. If that is the truth, it certainly isn't the whole truth. Because there's something that seems a bit too impossible in her confession. There's <laughs> a mix of beans and grape juice. <laughs> came up with the plan of the kidnapping was the butler. How well do you know the victim? I've spoken with him only a few times at Lance's house. A few times. That's it. Y yes? They only met a few times. I don't see how they could have trusted each other. But if you hardly ever talk, then how could he trust you not to steal his plan? <laughs> not so fast! Not so fast! Mm, that's completely irrelevant. He's planning to betray her from the very beginning. Which is why he chose someone that wasn't especially close to, and also someone who's dumb. Isn't that right, Sheena? Yes, however, Mr. Teakin made a very poor choice. In the end, he was killed by the one he had intended to betray himself. What a twist. Huh. I bet he didn't see that one coming. We knew you could get rich by holding Lance hostage. <laughs> you knew. How did you know something like that? Uh, oh no. What should I do? Okay, what's wrong with her now? Come on, isn't it obvious? You're making your scary face again, that's why. Why don't you try asking her in a nicer, more gentle way? Hmm. No, no, no stop. You're always like this. You always fall for this dude. Look, he wants. That's why he always be that happy. God damn, why she looks so. I can only hear good. her doing this in like a PewDiePie voice. No, yeah. no, stop it, Lord. Stop. Do it. You're always fall for the stone-looking ones, Lord. No, 
Oh no! Like, it's a, like, like, a, a, like a Gollum and Smeagol thing when she talks to <laughs> other people. Oh, I never even. No, Lord. No. 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 You always fall for the stern no. and manly ones. That's why you'll never be happy, Lord. No. I can be happy. I can be happy if I want to. No, Lord. You'll never be happy. <laughs> Just give up now, Lord. No. I'll never give up. <laughs> Pops died by. Oh. Uh... <laughs> or maybe that's it. She's just been bewitched by your icy glare. I ship it. It just looks so beautiful. Mind your own business, Kay. Now then, Miss Pops. <laughs> hey, can you answer the question? Mind your own question. business, Kay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of this? Oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Mr. Romano will pay any to get a snack after all. <laughs> Remember when we thought the Deacon and Lance were doing the... Oh, they still are. Oh, cheers. Yeah. <gasps> oh, they're Why trying to escape together. That? <gasps> and then, oh, and then Lord found out they're trying to escape together and then put herself into this thing and kill the man. Wow. Yep. Anyone who knows Mr. Romano would think the same. So there's a really great... Because uh, one's the horse, right? Mm -hmm. And the other's the wings. And it's right. really beautiful symbolism because it's like it makes a pegasus. And the Pegasus is their relationship. Yeah. And she gives him wings. Yeah. That supports him. And it's really nice. You know uh, what else is really nice about it? Pegasus don't actually exist. That's what I was going to say. Exactly. <laughs> for, They're for not real. real. So your happy relationship doesn't exist. It can exist. And it's only a figment of your imagination in which, anyways, I'm going to end it there. The mechanics of a Pegasus don't work in natural like selection. Therefore, <laughs> no, even if it were to exist, not at all. it would die. Have you ever seen Pegasus fly movies? It's really awkward. Thing. It is really awkward because wings are based on your your shoulder blades, <laughs> and it's like, well, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Eh, Moving on. Eh. Also, you couldn't really ride a Pegasus because the wings would have to be attached where you would be. Yeah, yeah, they, they you kind of like wrap around anyway. Yeah, the line. How <laughs> dare you, sir? <laughs> Who hurt you two? <laughs> I bet Lance is that old man's greatest treasure. Ooh. If you get what I mean, <laughs> he's buried some family jewels rather deep in that, I'm sure. Family jewels. That's that's like I haven't heard in a long time. Ah, that's why we sell innocence drops. Nice miracle. That makes sense. Uh, uh, I suppose he would be to uh he would be to a doting father, like Mr. Amano. I always figured that was that too. I always was so envious of Lance for it. Unicorns unicorns can be fine. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, unicorns exist, absolutely. Because your dad's I got this pendant from my father. But I believe that as long as I have this, I'll find my father again someday. Oh, we weren't talking about the butler? Oh no shit. No, I think that was spoilers though. What? I got it from my father, I'm gonna look for it, and it's a matching pendant to the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is them admitting that it was a father, but somebody messaged GD actually. You're talking about her father. His father. When, yeah, is it, is it, maybe? I don't know. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Can can I staple wings to a uh, unicorn? Okay, fine. Neo, Neo Psy, uh, dude, you can staple anything to okay. anything. Okay, I gotta, I gotta retcon this whole thing now, so. Actually, wait, well, the daughter, anyways. So I think Lord the Pops daughter gives the father it. wings, and it's a beautiful father-daughter relationship, but that doesn't exist because parents suck. There it is. Thank you. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, hit the line. I do it back One more. Into his arms, riding on the back of his Pegasus. <laughs> that pendant. She must truly believe it to be the wings of a Pegasus. Mmm. -hmm. GD, I meant I meant the butler, not his dad. Yeah, but then the butler turned out to be Lauren's <laughs> Lauren's daddy. Lauren's daddy, and then that's evidenced by it's. Whatever Deacon, and then she's Lauren D. Actually, when we made that comment right at the beginning, but I thought her name was Laura and Pops, not. Ah, uh, I see. I understand now. Yeah. Would you mind telling us a little about the plan itself? But well, we captured Lance. <laughs> how could they trust each other? Blah blah blah. But then ooh, had... and how did you do that? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> Um, that, well, Mr. Deacon did that one on his own, so I don't quite know. Bah! And here I thought you knew how to steal people away. I shudder to think what she would do with such knowledge. Sorry. I really 
don't know about... Somehow, Mr. Deacon was able to contain him? All that we had to do after that was wait until the ransom to be paid, but... But... You took so long, it's your fault I had to kill him. Mr. Deacon turned and tried to kill me. Why do you think he did? I have no idea, but maybe he had planned on doing so from the very beginning. Miss Pops! Silence. Wait. Mr. Deacon planned to kill Miss Pops from the very beginning. Was that ever really likely to happen? What should I do? Should I raise an objection? Oh, raise an objection! I'm sorry, but I don't think what you just claimed is all that likely. I don't think Mr. Deacon would have ever been capable of killing you. But why? We're total strangers. It's not uncommon for people to kill each other over money. It's not unusual for to people to kill each other over mom. money. No, 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 no. Miss Pops, no, you, you really are clueless, aren't you? Well, what do you mean? <gasps> oh, and she killed her own father. Mm hmm Well, probably not. She's totally into this, by the way. Oh, absolutely. You never knew what your role in the kidnapping was, nor do you know who you really are. <laughs> wow, Edward, like that's like, that's some M. Night Shyamalan yeah. right, right there. <laughs> You're truly a plant. Or that, that or uh, Game of Thrones. You know nothing, lollipops. <laughs> but I do, and I can show you ever uh, with this piece of evidence. This proves that Mr. Deacon wouldn't have been able to bring himself to kill Miss Pops. The bad badger head. Jinx. The bad badger head. This gun. <laughs> he couldn't have held the gun. <laughs> he couldn't this, have held the gun. With his badger hand. <laughs> it fires blanks. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually probably what he did, too. <laughs> the sword was blank. broken. Anyways, I'm gonna do it here. Up. Uh, Take that. Take that. Ooh, ah. Why are you showing this to me? So what about the pendant? This horse pendant, along with this piece of evidence, shows who you really are. Who you really are. The bad badger head. <laughs> Bow. 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 These two pendants resemble each other. Wouldn't you agree? Hey, you're right. They're the same color, and they're even made of the same material. Kay, is Kay can't believe it. I believe these two pendants are actually one. Ooh! Oh! Did we just punch her in the face with a yeah. word? Oh! <laughs> and then she like holds her face like I can't believe okay. you punched me. If her next sprite is blushing, she's got she's oh. got some, some some She got that M. She's got that M. She got that M. Shall we give it a try? Oh <gasps> wow! It's it's totally a Pegasus! But why, why does Pennant match up with Mr. Deacon's? You're a smart lady. I'm sure you can imagine what that might be. Like, she didn't she just say, I'm looking for my father, I hope mm -hmm. to find one day, yes. who has a horse pendant that yes. creates a Pegasus. Yes. Oh my goodness, how did this happen? But I now guess. she's lying to herself because she doesn't, doesn't want to believe. It's like when Mo like finds out dead. that his father was actually a flight attendant, not a pilot. Oh. Which is totally fine. But it's fine. To do. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I want to be a flight attendant. It's yeah, super cool. Fly around. Apparently, it's so super sucks. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But like the whole service thing, or the, 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 that part's I think fine. It's just like uh, traveling all the time, having yeah, no, no home base. Well, uh, no. What they said is like you only get like the pay is really weird. Like you only oh. get paid while you're in the air, but you got to do like setup time, takedown time. Oh, bizarre. Man, I would jump all the time because then half the time I'd be in the air and they'd have to pay me for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that can't be. So, but you make a set. <laughs> Just another trinket. It's not as though it changes anything. Hmm. You lack imagination, Agent Lang. Very well. I'll show you with this evidence. This is the piece of evidence that gives meaning to the Pegasus pendant. Oh my god. <laughs> He's dead. dead. <laughs> Can you look at the back of it? Is it the, not the love, love letter. letter? That one. Uh, the dossier. One, the dossier. The dossier. Hello. Whereabouts unknown after his escape from Penny Dent to prison. One, two, prison. three, four, five pounds. Stole a gun from a guard during his escape. We thought he might head for where his wife and, and soul, soul daughter, daughter are. are. But despite our surveillance, he is yet to show up. How do you give birth to a soul? 
Are Man. those things in my shoes alive? Yeah. Certainly. Wow. That's weird. Yeah. Well, is, kind that of what, is that what? Yeah. What what journey what, what what train was talking about was Soul Sister and that stuff? Oh, hey, sister, Soul Sister. That's well, not the well right that's song. Moulin Rouge. That's uh, Moulin Rouge. Voulez vous coucher avec moi? C'est soi. People hate that movie or they love that movie. I'm a, I'm a uh, uh, yeah, I, I watched it a long, long time ago, but I think it was okay. Thank you. Mm. Oh, uh, the deacon mm. was just an alias for this man. Well, okay, now everyone says that it's like penny dent for penitentiary. Yeah, but I think I, it's pendant. I think it's pendant. Yeah. I think it's pendant. Yeah. I'm living on that pendant life. Yeah. yeah, and then it makes sense that like this is the evidence that shows the pendant means something. Yeah. I, <clears throat> if I, Colin's name was Terry, then I would, because then it'd be penny dent Terry. Oh, that'd be funny. Yeah. That, but anyways, I'm going with penny dent too. Yeah. That's it. Pull, put up a poll. Is it penitentiary or pendant, the Android? Man, yeah, put up a poll. this is a, a, a redundant poll because penny dent stands for pendant. Right? I, yeah. Th That's uh, what I'm saying. Which what? is it? Question mark. His Can't real name was Colin Devere, and pendant. the name is etched on that horse pendant. What? Penitentiary. That's not how you spell that, probably. <laughs> That's okay. I suppose he had to hide the fact that he was a felon somehow in order to live. And it makes sense, given what is written in Mr. Devere's dossier. But what I really want to point out was this. This specific section is what reveals the true meaning behind those pendants. Oh my god. His nose. <laughs> this penny dent prison. <laughs> we have that uh, command where anybody who votes estimation point two vote two gets banned, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. Right. Wow, everyone's voting too. Man, I know Man. we have so many that wrong. In I chat. know, we just have to do a lot of bands, I guess. I guess so. Oh. Japes, chat, it's Japes. <laughs> uh, people are saying, where's the both option? It can't be both. What? <laughs> Mr. Devoray had one daughter, and her name is Lauren Pumps. <laughs> That's a lie, though. That person is not my father. Couldn't come out and tell you he was a, you were he was your father because he was in hiding. However, I believe he was trying to secretly watch over you. Aww. Oh, what a robe! Hey, yes, we're back, back again. Me, I'm back. Tell your friends or something. something I guess. guess what I miss. Oh man, I thought Backstreet was back. All right. Uh, you missed some uh, some wonderful Ace Attorney investigation. But don't miss time. the VLR finale after this. VLR finale after this. Stay tuned, people. Yeah. Good time, 3:33. Gonna be a bit of a longer stream because we are gonna finish it tonight. Yep. Heads up. And it's okay. It's okay, Lunar. Don't worry. You're part of the few select elite. Okay. Let yep. the rabble have their penitentiary. Yeah. Do you still believe that a man like that could kill the daughter he was separated from, or even? That such a man would allow his daughter to get involved in a kidnapping plot. <laughs> to be honest, like, this is pretty weak evidence. No. Oh, mm. He was her father, therefore he would never do anything bad to her. I think <clears throat> Lang is and, having a seizure. Yeah, Lang's about to say, have you watched Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> Who was your dad again, Edgeworth? <laughs> oh, uh, Von Karma, how'd that oh. go? Hmm, oh, I see, huh? Actually, Von Karma's probably an okay dad. No, wait, no, he wasn't. No, wait, Von wait, Karma no, is not your dad. Not, uh, he killed your, your dad, dad and then <laughs> pretended to be your dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of really fucked up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what a good series. And what's so funny, Agent Lang? Oh, man, I am matching black today. <gasps> and, and I am staying that. hydrated. Wow. Ooh. You're good at making things up in your head and deciding it's the truth, aren't you? I've been right every time, you know? What are you trying to say? You're thinking it's too much innocent? You're thinking too much innocent? After all, I thought about another possibility. Is that so? Well, let's hear it. Hey, Athena! Athena. Yeah. yeah. But, but what, what about <laughs> penitent? Oh my god. My feels on this is just because it starts with pen doesn't mean that it is related to penitentiary. Because a penitentiary has nothing to do with the plot of this 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 case. Yeah, except for that he got out of a penitentiary. He got out of a prison, which is another. Word. But, but it, the prison is irrelevant to the plot. The pendant well, is not. Well, I mean, 
It's pretty what irrelevant. What if the prison was in, if the prison was inside a tree, like it was just a giant tree carved out to be a prison? I'd believe it then, because uh, then it'd be a, be a penitent tree. Penitent tree. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Is that so? Well, let's hear it. <laughs> oh, glad Nick App were able to make somebody stay because right, right, we're right, ruining right. a few. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're ruining all every day. Yeah, it's what we do here. Uh, to be fair, okay. I, it's it's an easy mistake to make. I could see. It. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was gonna go with the pause. I, 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 I was like uh, I was like you could be right. But I was like no 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 no. Easy, easy mistake. mistake. <laughs> we should turn that air conditioning on just a, a yeah, wee yeah, smidgen. Yeah. I'm gonna crank this. I can feel that right it is now. a little. Mm, oh, this bitch is going down to 16, <laughs> the lowest it can go to. Okay, hit it, hit it. Yeah, you and the two of them. Mother and daughter. Hey, model girl. <laughs> well, this is awkward. I would have been able to watch VR finale. My manager bribed me with candy to come into work tonight. <gasps> what? What? You work for candy? I, I, know. I would hire you. Yeah, apparently I'm the only one who ever working in my department, so I guess they need me pretty bad. Oh, it's good to be needed. Yeah. Don't strive to make your presence just, just known. Just get like a Bluetooth headpiece. Make your absence to us felt. <laughs> That's why I made the Thanks, cat Marvel. codependent on me, so I felt needed. Yeah, uh, I see. It's true. But isn't it possible that they both knew that fact? It was no coincidence that the reunited pair became involved in the house of Amano. And the two of them made good use of their meeting to plan this little kidnapping. Mano Imano. Wouldn't you say my scenario is perfectly probable as well? So... Is his version of how things might? Uh, this is his version of how things might have been. Sometimes the text blends into stuff, and it makes it hard to read. Right? You don't have any proof that either one did know of the other true relationship, right? You mean they knowingly committed the kidnapping as father and daughter? I'd watch that anime. <laughs> mm, like the Yatagarasu. That's right. There's one really rotten family. You know, uh. Ace Attorney does deal with a lot of family issues. Like, it's usually all within the family. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that really what happened? I'd better take a long, hard look at the evidence. Hmm. Rebuttal. Ooh, rebuts. <laughs> I'll grant you that you and them are brother and daughter. Hold it! Precisely. And what father would ever willingly kill his own daughter? I mean, it's happened. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you know, Darth Vader tried to redacted spoiler. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Not so fast. Not so fast. <laughs> Not just the men, but the women. And <laughs> I've seen a lot of things in my travels. And I can tell you that being related by blood is something proof, or sometimes proof of nothing. Ah. <clears throat> the, the, this guy gets it because wolves eat their own family. So, mm. so he doesn't what? care. But so, is it some guy, you don't know that. That they both I believe knew so. that. I don't bat. know wolf stuff. Mm. Oh, my bad. <clears throat> Daddy issues the franchise. <laughs> you think they knew? Yeah, I don't think only the victim knew. I think the girl realized it as well. They both knew who the other person was, but they had to pretend they didn't. <laughs> because he was the one on, on the, the aisle? Lamb. Oh, lamb. You got it. The victim couldn't exactly go around flaunting who he was. Furthermore, boy, it was no coincidence that the reunited bear became involved in the house of Amano. House of Amano is an anime I would not watch. True. One is the butler, and one is the friend of the sun, you mean. They probably thought that was their best shot. Is that what you honestly believe? Of course. The two of them make good use of their meeting to plan this little kidnapping. Hold it! You mean how they plotted to commit this crime as blood relatives? Can you think of a better partner? They're certainly a clever pair. The butler and the girlfriend. No one would ever suspect that they were, in fact, family. 
Yes. From the very beginning, they painstakingly practiced those rules as well. When you say my pane my panario is perfectly serviceable. Panario. <clears throat> I believe you're being a bit overconfident for someone with no evidence. Am I? Because I don't see you presenting any evidence to the contrary. Mm. Without evidence to counter him, we're stuck at a draw. Angry Edgeworth noises. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Agent Lang isn't wrong. His scenario is certainly a probable one. You better hurry up and do something, or Lauren's gonna wind up looking really bad. Oh no. I know. But first things first. Is Agent Lang's line of logic factually correct? Did the two of them really knowingly commit the crime as father and daughter? <gasps> oh. Hmm. No. Why? Because why would they have the pendants on them? That clearly link them together. Mm, yeah, games have done more, less logical stuff. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. I really hope we get to see Viola. But I mean, in, in a general sense, I don't know if this is the correct answer, but if you're planning on committing a murder with your family member, don't bring anything that ties you together as a family member, like DNA. Scrub your DNA. Yeah. Because they'll definitely. be able to tell that you're related. Yeah. Through your DNA. So be sure not to bring any with you mm -hmm. if you plan on committing, like. Leave your DNA right. at home, everybody. Yeah. Hmm. Why is this impossible? I wonder if it's because of the masks. But, but then, but they would have organized it beforehand. <laughs> well, well, that, that's what they're implying, right? They're implying that they, the friend of the kidnappy and the butler to the kidnappy, little did they know that they were family and plotted the whole thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. The no card since that. Oh wow! Made good use of their meetings. Hmm. What are the what meetings? To, uh, little little powwows, uh, kidnappers, you uh, anonymous. Okay, let's look through all the evidence and read, cause uh, this helps. Reading. Oh. Proof of my profession. A mm. map explanation of the park. There's only one of each badge in the park. Costume, separate head in the body. Book detailing info the whole Badger family. Wait, can you look at the Badger family? You just wanted to see the Badger family. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you right. Kidnapper stole three costumes, a blue, a proto, and a bad. Can we check everything? Ooh. Hey, Sabrina that, Kent, Well, thanks for subscribing to the channel. That is that is something, right? Mm -hmm. And the two of them made good use of their meetings, but the kidnapper stole three costumes. Oh, yeah, this is actually really good. Yeah. This is a really good... Uh, Clay, you're brilliant. Do it. Thanks, I say throw man. it. Throw it. Objection! Wow, it, wow. It, it, I was really hoping it wouldn't work. Ugh. I wanted it to work, but I wanted it to Brute forcing at its finest. That's not brute force. That oh, was no. actually quite what? The, You used quite the logic in the best possible way, Mike. Yeah, see, okay, this Wait, feeling. What does it mean, Walk though? into this feeling. Why, why, why does this work? That's logic. I don't understand why this works. No, because there's two of them and three. Oh, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> lock into that feeling right there. <laughs> this kidnapping wasn't planned by just two people this alone. This kid's silly and send it. So what's really funny is everyone in chat was like, man, I had so much trouble with this. Man, it's a leap in logic, man. This one was our difficult one. And meanwhile, it's like <laughs> two plus two is, and we have the number four Three. as evidence. And we're like, man, yeah. I don't know. Oh, and you know what? Big Shaq has been uh, organized. Two plus two is four, four. minus one. That's, that's three. three. Two, three, it's, it's there. Yeah. Monorail, thank you. And the android brown nosing isn't very flattering. That's why he wears a cardboard box. That's <laughs> it. Because it, then his nose is literally brown <laughs> from poop. <laughs> That's gay <-cest. laughs> Oh wow! Well, you took. I it didn't there. even go there. Yeah, okay? I turned it around. See, and now hey, you're like, bad people. Yeah. Mm. Now, now you're the bad people. <laughs> can we add that to our? Can we add that to our disclaimer? It's like you know the thoughts and opinions of the Nyan Cave. Yada yada yada. At the bottom. Oh, by the way, Nyandroid's gay. No, <laughs> <laughs> Dom is Italian. Nyandroid is gay. gay. Uh, Clay, is Clay has no excuse. Yeah, Clay has no excuse. Clay has no excuse. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to talk gayer? No, good because no. it's a real. It's, well, it's, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean. Here, let me talk air. Hey, buddy. Nah, you know why? Because they're I was gonna normal. Say. Okay. It's not any different. Okay, let's go. Ah, <laughs> uh, Clay's an idiot. That's a good one. Right. You know, I oh. walk. Uh, let me tell you, I walked the tightest of ropes in comedy in 2018. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. I am I am one word away from shutting the stream down every <laughs> single day. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you're not that's a big US at all. No, I know. <laughs> and what kind of proof do you have of that? You got real 2006 in here all of a sudden. <laughs> Quite simply, there were three kidnappers. What was it in in uh, 98? People said gay all the time. In 2008, kids aren't sure if they should say gay anymore. Yeah, 2018, uh, they think people are saying gay again, but in a positive, positive this time. Yeah, yeah. 1998, people said gay in a bad way. No. In 2008, people said gay, but they weren't sure if they were supposed like they were allowed anymore. to. In 2018, people say gay, but it's positive now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Gay <laughs> three. Four costumes were stolen from the Wild Wild West area's back room. We found one of them in the kidnapper's hideout. But as for the other three, we can assume they were being worn by three different people. We also found a set of all three right. cups and three folding chairs that, that were used in the hideout. It was all clearly it all clearly points to a three-man group. The blue man group. Ooh. And I believe this third person is the real mastermind behind the kidnapping. Who? Who is the mastermind? Oh, I know. I present to you the brains behind the kidnapping. Oh, I actually have to Amano. say it now. What? No, why would it be? What? Sheena! Old bag! Do you want to take a guess? It's obviously Emma. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish it was old bag. <laughs> I just, I want to play that fan uh, Miles Edgeworth game that doesn't exist, but I wish it did, where <laughs> in order to get rid of old bag, Edgeworth, ha Edgeworth has to frame her for a terrible oh crime. <laughs> the fan game that you just envisioned right now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the fan uh, and the, the old bag trilogy, anyway. It's Lance. Yeah, it's okay. Sir Lance. Sir Lance. A lot. Sir Lance. Take that! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Lance Amano. But that was the kidnapped person. Yes, this abduction was, in fact, schemed up by Lance himself. Recall what he said when he appeared before us. No, it's like you just see the. Do you see the faces of your kidnappers? No, I didn't see their face, but two, one was a woman. However, there were three kidnappers, which is in direct contradiction to what he said. But, but, I, no, I only saw two people. This guy's being held hostage and possibly couldn't see all three of them. Ah, uh, yes. About when you were held. I have my doubts about when that happened then. What happened then? Lance, would you mind telling us about what happened while you were being held captive? I really don't remember much anymore, honest. Honestly, they should have roughed him up a bit, given him a couple thwaps mm, to yeah. the head. But if I don't tell you at least something, you won't believe me at all, will you? Ooh, here it comes. <gasps> Goddamn. Lance's hair is so hair. I was kidnapped yesterday morning. They had me shut in that room blindfold the entire time. But the kidnapper suddenly disappeared from, from around the time I heard rain falling outside. My head was cuffed, but it was a stroke of luck that they left me alone. Boingy, boingy. Boingy, boingy. I made my escape and ran away from that room as fast as I could. Oh my god. Fua, fua. Through the underground passageway, I presume. Don't give him the answers, Edgeworth. Are you okay? Sorry, I really didn't want to recall that horrible <laughs> ordeal, but... But now, you believe me, right? No, not quite. Uh -huh. How could you not? Why do you look at me with those icy daggers in your eyes? Meanwhile, Lauren's like, oh my god. Oh my god. Is because it raining out here? Oh, prosecutor, because... They're all like that. I'll have you know, Agent Lang, a prosecutor's eyes are for discerning the truth. And should they be interrupted to be or interpreted to be cruel at times, then so be it, because you're lying. Oh it my only, gosh. It only appears cruel to liars, idiot. Oh my gosh, Nathan, you can't say that Lance needs a hom more homosexual voice. It's 2018. Ooh. You can't say that, Nathan. No. You gotta say, Thomas, make him gay. Whoa. Because <laughs> it's in a positive way? Because it's in a positive way. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's a sticking point in Lance's testimony. Let's see what he offers up when I push a little. It's 
It is kind of. Uh, it, I don't know about punchable uh, phantom beard. I definitely want oh, to punch his cheeks a little bit though. Oh, really? They kind of look like they're just like I don't know, like. Whoop, I don't know. Whoop, whoop, punching. Whoop, whoop. I feel like slapping because slapping on like mm. that little bit makes like a bit like nicer of a sound. Like a punch would be but, like. And his earlobes would go all flippity yeah. flappy. Flippity flippity flippity. <laughs> I was kidnapped yesterday morning. Hold it! It's a lie. Can you tell us about when you were abducted in a little more detail? Well, they were in a white van, and they pulled up beside me playing Master of Puppets. Uh, and a bunch neat. of guys in socks threw me in. <laughs> guys only wearing dick socks. That's it. Ah. Uh, uh, totally different movie, totally different game. <laughs> it was a strange morning. I felt like I was right in the middle of a quick calm. And where were you when you experienced this calm? Our family garden, of course. Where else could it be have been? Wow, that's interesting. Uh, when, did we, when did we cuff him? He's been cuffed the whole time. Really? No one's uncuffed him. What? Yeah. He oh, those are the kidnapper's cuffs. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Well, excuse me for asking. This child is more princess than prince. Oh, fucking killed him. I was out uh, taking a walk to shake off the morning blah. Ah, uh, the morning blah is strong. It's morning blah. Then out of the blue, someone from behind clamps a hand over my mouth. You didn't see your attacker. They must have used some drug to knock me out. Because before I knew it, I was off in the la land. When I woke up, I was in the cannabis hideout already all tied up. I had me shut that room blindfolded the entire time. Hold it! By that room, you mean the room in the kidnapper's hideout, correct? Yes, but I was blindfolded the whole time, so I didn't know that until I made my escape. Then, you were in the same room as your kidnappers. They spoke in hushed tones, but I could catch bits of the conversation. It was definitely two people, and one of them was... I was so scared I couldn't tell they were nearby, but I didn't dare to make a move. But the kidnapper suddenly disappeared around the time I heard the rain falling outside. The kidnappers disappeared. The room fell into a sudden silence and I've been left behind like an unwanted mutt. What do you mean by unwanted mutt? What a pointless question. It's not like he's going to tell you anything new, you know. Here comes something new! Oh. It's a poetic simile. You should learn how to use them, too. Well, that's it. Take them away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lock them up. You may look refined on the outside. Oh, wow. But it's no good if you're not refined on the inside as well. Oh, my God. Nobility is just so different from us regular people. Wait a yes. Then, those cuffs on your wrists. I suppose you are still cuffed in that case. I'm well aware of how I'm chained to reality. <sighs> Get the fuck out of here. I couldn't find the key, so I'm afraid that I'm stuck like this. Even though I escape from the jail cells, I will forever be a prisoner. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. Maybe his face is a little more punchable than I thought it was. Mm. Look at him peeking! Look at him peeking! Peek! Uh, uh, <laughs> I made my escape and ran away. How did you manage to escape? I wanted to just get out of there, but the door leading outside was locked. Which is why I had to use the underground passage to make my escape. I remember our escape to be equally as hard. This is an invaluable piece of testimony. I mustn't, it must, uh, I mustn't let it go unexamined. Damn you hiding blue words in right? the blue. I mustn't go ex unexamined. It's like, <laughs> let I it. Know. Let it is just yeah. Yeah, what do you guys? Color it actually, blind? it looked better on stream, but uh, our TV is is different, so the colors are a bit more blendy. I oh yeah, look at it. how much more blendy that is. I know. I might be able to uh, make it brighter, but the words like basically disappear sometimes, especially when they're blue. Green is usually okay. White's fine. It's just the blue words disappear. Mm. The door leading outside was locked tight, so I had to use the underground passage. Hold it. By underground passageway, you mean the one that the staff uses to travel unnoticed. I suppose that is what it's for, but I didn't run into any staff members on my way out. And once I was up top, I was busy trying to find a member of the police. And that is when you found us congregated at the stadium, I suppose. Let me ask you, then. 
How did you get a hold of the key to the underground door? That was easy. I was hanging right there. It was hanging right there in the room on the wall. I do recall a key hanging on the wall beside the table. Boy, does that bring back memories of our situation and how we made our escape. Good guy Lance, though, hung the key back up after he was done mm, using really it. Really nice. <laughs> right? Oh, no, unless it was like one, two, three, and he took his key with him, but oh, there's a third one from the other door. Maybe, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. We it, we refer we kind of reference that key as the latch key, though, mm. is the thing. Indeed. And although the door and the floor of our room led to an underground room, the door and the floor of the room next to the door had a secret passage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, that was a sentence I navigated. You did really <laughs> like that's good. It's good. The door and the room, the floor of the room next to the door. Oh no! See, I can't do it again. It kind of feels like you need a beat with it, like a boot your chin. I know. The, the door, door and the floor and the, the room and the next to the door. The of the room next to the door had a secret passageway. The life of the wife was <laughs> ended by, by the, the knife. knife. A secret passageway under a theme park? Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Oh, man. There's a, a mall uh, that Tom and I used to work at, and they had an underground dungeon. It was so yeah, cool. Weird, oh, my God. Man. It was super freaky. People it was died. like a bunch of different storage spaces and stuff like that, but it was like a windy underground labyrinth, and there was like an old movie theater that used to be there. Oh, my God. And it opened up this bug. Oh, that can't. sounds so cool. It's so cool because it was so poorly kept. Like, it was dusty, and the lights didn't work, and there was echoes everywhere. Oh, man. It was like... I felt like I was in a dungeon. It was so cool. Man. You really, you had to know where you were going, oh, yeah. too. Because, like, it, there were lots of different, like, branches. Like abandoned movie theater down there. Yeah, what? abandoned okay. movie theater. Because yeah. it used to be movie theater, and then instead yeah. of, like, taking it out, they just covered it up. That's so cool. Yeah. Like, the mall I used to work at, I used to try to get lost in the underground when taking the garbage out. Yeah. Just because, like, uh, on slow days, on slow days, me, yeah, me, right. me and my friend, we'd go down there, we'd take the garbage out, and we'd be like... Let's just go through some doors that are unlocked. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we never found anything cool. It's like half a crime. <laughs> half a crime. It's, no, we worked there. It's fine. Mm. I wonder, there's something off about the way Lance made his escape. Were the dragons? I didn't find <laughs> any oh, I was kidnapped yesterday morning. We're in the beginning of this again. Hmm. Passage. It was not locked. Ah, yes, it was not. Hmm. Ready? Do it. Peek. Three. Mm? Peek, peek. He's peeking. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> On three. Two, one. Wait, you said three. No. What? <laughs> On three. Three. <laughs> you said the door leading out was locked. But was it really? <laughs> wow. Shrink. We're talking about that room behind the saloon in front, right? Look, I heard it. it took a whole quite a few men to get that thing open, right, Shana? Yes, that's correct. I wonder if her name's like Shiba, Sh like a Shiba Sh Inu. Shiba Inu. Then take a look at this. Is what Edgeworth would say. What is that? A sword? It's not an especially reliable one if it's broken like that. <laughs> All the better to stab you with! <laughs> Allow me to start from the end. My conclusion is that the door was never locked. It was simply held shut by this sword, which was used to jam the handle. Okay, so that makes no sense at all. <laughs> no, if it's a pulley door. Uh, that's, uh, if it's a pulley door, then what is the sword stopping it with? What are you talking about? No, no, from the other side. It's a pulley yeah, door yeah, yeah. If it's, if it's a pull door, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. I guess. I guess it would have to be. But the handle, yeah. the handle looks like it is. And if they broke it in, then it yeah. came. No. Yeah, like, I, I guess. Yeah, okay. Let's just go with that. What did I say, Jess? I forgot. It's been t at least 10 seconds since yeah. I said that. What did I say that was dumb? Uh, Everything. Anyways. Probably. Lance, even though your hands were cuffed together, you still could use them. If that's the case, then why did you not just simply remove the sword and escape? Why well, didn't I? I? I was disoriented. <laughs> Says, please stop questioning the game. Okay, I will. I will allow the game to dictate all that is true and right. Uh, my new Lord and Savior, Ace Attorney, can do no wrong. <laughs> His word is law and truth, and all makes sense. It's, it's not a flaw. It's a pull door from the, the police's side. It's a push door from this side. Uh, 
Yes, it is. I didn't notice it. As if I should accept such a bold-faced lie. You locked yourself in that room because you had to make yourself look like the victim. But you did not, in fact, possess the key to that door. And all oh, yeah, if you didn't question this game, it would be the most boring game. Mm. Well, <laughs> you see, Meekins did it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That sounds about right. Oh, yeah, that makes Take sense. Take him away. <laughs> yeah. It was me, Lauren Pops. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. oh, well. I guess Lauren did it. I guess Lauren did it. <laughs> that is why I use the prop sword to improvise and create a prison of your very own. Uh, Ace Attorney Investigations Lang Edition is basically that game. <laughs> I have to make sense to more. <laughs> You've been making this guy out to be one of the kidnappers for some time now. I wonder if you've forgotten something very important along the way. And what would that be? A motive. What else? Uh, <laughs> Out of robe. I, have you already forgotten that I am the savior of this dream? I don't know. Did you have your license renewed? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Damn. <laughs> what else? There could be multiple saviors. Yeah. Hmm. You honestly think that an upright, pure boy like him has the balls to do it would act up a completely pointless scheme such as kidnapping himself. Objection! Yes. Yes, he would. <laughs> For a million dollars? This proves that Lance did indeed have a motive to commit the crime. He really wanted to be the Blue Badger. <laughs> <laughs> His dream was to become the Bad Badger and to steal dreams from children's everywhere. Did you notice Among when... The for children's children, by the way. When uh, Lance was all shook, that his hands, his hands went out of the handcuffs? No, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. What? I saw it, and then GD pointed it out again, and I was like, uh, yeah, they did. Love letter. That is letter. tender lender. Jesus Christ, you're Honest, like, if I had to die, this wouldn't be a bad way to die. Being poisoned by Viola? Yeah. Oh. Take that! <laughs> Wait. To put it simply, Lance has a very urgent need for money. This is hardly a typical love letter. It is, in fact, a collections bill. It appears our upstanding boy has accumulated quite a debt. Isn't that right, Lance? Okay, guys, let's all take guesses on why he has debt. Uh, horse races. Right. Um... Oh, jewelry for yeah. Lauren. Uh, yeah. That might yeah. actually be a real diamond that she's licking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anime figures. Anime figures. That's a good one. Uh, that'll definitely make your bank go. Or he bought the DVD set of, like, Haruhi or something. <laughs> What's your guess, Nanny? Um, Gay hookers. Wow, what? <laughs> what? That's that was my guess. What? What? Yeah! Uh, uh, okay. It was, in fact... For uh, bail for Lauren's dad, it was a good cause. Oh, nice! Oh. Wow, look at you being a good. Wow, person. look at you being wholesome over there. Yeah. Isn't that right, Lance? Uh, oh. See? Did you see? Oh, no, I missed it. Uh. Looks like it's hard being the son of a rich man too. So hard. It must be rough when you have to resort to stealing from your old man, your own old man, huh? Yeah. All right, I give up. I abducted myself. Ooh! Lance! Oh, it's over, Lolly. In his life, we're bound to our fates after all. Ah, uh, Arthur, it was cocaine, of course. What? <sighs> I always forget about the cocaine. Okay, can we all take a moment and say, fuck Lance? He tried to give up Lolly here. For his no, own, to save his own to, hide. No, he was gonna let her get arrested. He was let her die. You're right. You're right. You're what right. a dick. JD. Yeah. <laughs> All I wanted was to was go with you to a new town somewhere where no one would know us, but everyone would know our name. I wanted to be well off with that one. Million dollars. Wait, his now. dad gave him a small loan of a million dollars? No, no, no they tried to steal a million dollars. Oh, oh Lance. Then, you're giving yourself up? Yes, I had planned to run away from this world with my lolly. Oliver even helped us with the plan, but then he had to go stab us in the back. He turned on you. Maybe he didn't want us 
Is it the ransom money? That's my guess. It happened almost right after you made the drop off. What is going on here? There was a fourth party. No. When we were alone, he attacked me all of a sudden. After a brief struggle, I was able to contain him and keep him under control. We left him inside that room as Lolly and I made our escape. We wore different costumes and split up. Lolly left first in the blue badger costume. Wait a second. We saw the blue badger, the proto badger. Proto badger. In the beginning. In the beginning. Did we see the proto badger in the beginning? The proto badger in the beginning. Because that. That wouldn't make sense. Oh, I guess the handcuffs come off. That's fine. Um, because we we found no, we found the blue badger costume in the. Oh, I don't know. Never mind. We'll figure it out. That would mean the person Officer Meekin saw was Miss Pumps. But right then, the old man just had to wake up. <laughs> I was careless and I tackled him pretty hard from behind. Hey oh. Then Oliver put on a bad badger costume. Took the suitcase with the million dollars and ran. I contacted Lolly right away and warned her that he had a gun. They had no idea that they were related, so I thought it could only end badly. Oh, I still don't believe it. That person was not my father. Cut his ribbons instead. <laughs> because, because if you was, I, I just killed my own father. I don't think it's a real ring pop, because she wouldn't put it so close to her hair if it was real. Oh, yeah, she yeah, would. That would be awful. She's looking to cut it out, see? Yeah, but then you couldn't enjoy your hair or the ring pop. Are we just going to walk over the fact that she just admitted to killing her father? I'm just walking past her talking about ring pop? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's important, but like, there's going to get hair all in that ring pop. Yeah, I'm watching the Star Wars. <laughs> Null to that. <sighs> I don't think she killed him, though. I think she did. No, then, then it really was you. I don't oh, think she killed Oh, I don't think so either, then. Oh, yeah, now that no, we're no, disproving it. <laughs> no, I thought that that was going to be the dramatic conclusion right there. I thought that was it. Nope. That man was not my fault, baby, <laughs> because at the stadium. Whatever you do, do not scare her. <laughs> it's a bad badge. <laughs> that was brilliant, Neosai, dude. With the suitcase with the million dollars in. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. I said, mm, that badger was pointed. It's got to be aiming to shoot me dead. That's why I, I used the gun on Gotham Lance. There was a gunshot, the other person crumbled to the ground, and I ran, scared for my life. We're not putting a gun at her, is that okay? Hopefully he wasn't holding the scissors at that, at that point. Well, fuck that guy, if, if that's wrong. Hmm. I think the big picture is finally coming into focus, don't you? Yeah, no thanks to you, Lang. Lolly, well, forgive me. I didn't think you would turn into something so fright frightening. <laughs> if only I could have protected you. So, Miss Pops, she shot her own dad without even knowing who he really was. If what she says is true. Are you saying she's lying? But why would she lie about something like that? What purpose would it serve? You'd be surprised how often people lie without even realizing it themselves, Kay. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Is it even a lie at that point? What I mean is, listen very carefully to her confession once more, and you'll see. Chain of events. That man was not my father because, because, the stadium. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, let's try to think. Please calm down and let's slowly talk through this. Uh -huh. All you have to do is simply tell us what happened at the stadium. Leave it to us to search out the truth. Can you do that for me? Oh, all right. So, at the stadium. I love, I love the little like, like flick she does with her head, like, like, oh, oh no, I can't look at him. He's is he looking at me? Oh my god, he's looking. He's too beautiful. Oh, too beautiful. Too no. beautiful. Oh, but it's so good. <laughs> I can't look away. Oh. oh, there was a bad patcher pulling the suitcase with a million dollars in it. That was the ransom money, wasn't it? Yes, that's how I was able to identify Mr. Deacon almost immediately. It was all thanks to that, what Lance had told me. And what did he tell you? Well, he called me on my cell phone late night when I was running from a badger. and told me that Mr. Deacon had betrayed us and had run off with the ransom money. No. And about how he had a gun. 
But that badger pointed his gun at me, aiming to shoot me dead. Hold it. I don't know why I did that. Were we able to clearly see the gun? Yes, I got a very good look at it while it was pointed at me. Oh, father, why would you try to shoot me? Oh, I, I, I got this already. Do you really think a father would shoot his own daughter, Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't want to believe it myself. But it's true, my father's left arm was raised with a gun in it. Ooh. Put it straight at me. I was about to die, I thought. Well, this Miss Pumps. Please calm down and take a deep breath. And then, would you allow me to please hear that last statement one more time? Y yes of course. But that badger pointed the gun in his left hand at me, aiming to shoot me dead. Well, that's incorrect. Yeah, I know. <laughs> left well, hand. that is we're, incorrect. We're gonna, we're gonna nail this, but... And you felt your life was in danger, correct? Yes, I'm about to die, I thought. So, so... That's why I used the gun and got the lens. You shot Mr. Deacon. Oh. <gasps> oh, shit, I see. Miss Pops. Yes, I, I shot him. Wait, I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get it? Yeah. I, I, I put this whole thing together, man. Yeah. The entire thing all together at once. But why would Meekin sell innocence drops? Uh, he was trying to start an empire. Oh, I see. You know? Why did Pablo do <clears> it? <throat> no, but seriously, though, uh, well, I mean, like, we're not, this, 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 doesn't, this, this, doesn't, this, right this doesn't prove that she didn't kill him, though. Oh, it does. Really? Yeah. Because he was wearing the Bad Badger costume. Who? The father. No. What? No, yes. Yes. Remember how there's two? And the head and all that? Yeah. So this was, should, I, should we just go or should we do the, all right. I, I mean, the, the gun, well, anyways. Good, 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 good. Oh, oh, this shit's gonna get wild, man. Oh, I see, no. You see, cause, and she, and she thought that they got yeah, from Lance, yeah, yeah, but it yeah. was, oh, oh, no, oh, Wait, oh, man. And then, oh, the thing. Well, let's see if it goes. Remember, it's gonna go, man. Agent Lang, Miss Pops is far from done. She hasn't even finished her testimony yet. You gonna continue questioning her? What a waste of time. Miss Pops, if you please. All right. I, I. There was a gunshot. The other person crumpled to the ground and ran scared for my life. Hold it! Did you take off immediately following the gunshot? Yes. And you didn't attempt to approach the victim at all after he was shot. I, I was scared. I don't blame you. I would have done the exact same thing. I, I love the sprite of her just like reminiscing off into the distance. Like it, it, I feel like it's gonna fade away and pan to the sky and epic anime music is gonna start uh, playing. Oh, see, and the, 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 the doves are gonna fly out from behind yeah, her. Yeah, it's gonna be, but it's not gonna be doves. It's gonna be ravens. Oh, ravens, of that's, course. That's Ravens, yeah. yeah. How ironic that her last name is Pops. She killed her Pops. Poor Miss Pops. What will become of her, Mr. Edgeworth? She seems to be telling the truth regarding what happened at the stadium. However, I don't believe it to be absolutely correct. Listen very carefully to her confession once more and you'll see. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, left hand. And now, see, uh, but I, that I, badger. I'm pretty sure if, if you ought to present Who had the fake gun, though? Go over. You know, uh, does it rip from the bad badger card? Uh, that's the right hand. You know, I know. You, yeah, but I don't think this is the right thing right here. You know, you know who had the fake gun? Do you know? Well, I mean, I assume she, she had, had the, the fake, fake gun. gun. Yeah. And she went, bah! and then, with the, oh, no. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. One of the guns is left hand at me, aiming to shoot me dead. Do we have anything? Okay, I think maybe send that. That means she'd also have to use her left hand, though. Wait, can we look at the one where it says Bad Badger has a gun? Bad Badger has a gun. gun. Man, I love this picture. Oh, it's in his right hand. Yeah. 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 With a gun. The Badger with a gun. The other one. Oh, wow. We've updated that. Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah. So that's actually... Uh, 
Okay, we need to... Let's keep going over it. But wait, you see what's weird here, right? Go on. Because the Bad Badger would have a gun uh, in his right hand, right? But then he has a gun in his left hand. So was he holding two guns? I guess no, not. No, they, they, remember it was they ripped, ripped out. It was ripped out, yeah. yeah. So that, that gun that was ripped out by Lance and given to Lauren. And then... Okay. Uh, it was likely wearing one dude. No, even go on. Why do you want to go on like this? Uh, okay, it, it, go to the gun one again that I kind of said. I'll read that. There. Was ripped from the Bad Badger's class. He was capable of firing blank. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. This is like all we got. Yeah, then let's see. Missing model gun. No. No. Even after looking at this, can you still claim what you said to be true? Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, actually, I can. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> He's laughing pretty hard at you, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, I know. But I refuse to allow him to ruffle my feathers. Or my ass caught or whatever that thing is. Something about a contradiction. <laughs> mm. Um, I mean, it's gotta be this one. I'm pretty sure it's this one. We, we have the, the left hand knowledge here. Yeah. Uh, the gunshot. Uh, is the gun I got from Lance? Okay, great. Uh, oh, you know maybe what? Maybe it's this one. Hold on, wait, get out of here with the left hand. It's okay. Maybe the left hand's fine. Because he wasn't even in the Bad Badger costume, right? He was in... Oh, no, he was. Right, right, right. So, go to the very beginning. Okay. Not my father. The Bad Badger suitcase. Pointing out the gun. And his left hand, hand at me. I use the gun. I got the plan. Oh, shoot. Wait. Yeah. Do you think it's actually the head of the Bad Badger? Or am I taking a leap in logic to assume that... He switched badger heads to appear like a different badger. Costume separate into head and body. This head was left in the isolation room. Ah, man. Is this a leap in logic? Uh, because the other thing is the uh, the other thing I was looking at, and weird. whether or not it works or not, is that the next statement is I used the gun that Lance gave to me, and then we can use missing gun. Mm -hmm. And then that'll connect to where is this gun? Yeah, that's good. Like that. That's that's good. That's really good. I think uh, that's correct. Uh, Missing gun on on yeah on la on landscape. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. And also, it's a cravat, no, not an no. ascot. You yeah. uncultured swine. A cravat, oh, God. do you want to know what my favorite word is? That's fancy. Ooh, uh, characteristically, ass hummerbund. Cumberbund? Cumberbund. Cumberbund. Well, Cumberbund. He's a great actor, actually. No, really Cumberbund. Like yeah. Cumberbund. Yeah. Benadryl Cumberbund. Benadryl Cumberbund. Yeah, he's a good actor. I like him huh. a lot. Oh, no, okay. Oh, man, we're having a... We're, 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 we're just throwing a few things out there. Oh! Oh, uh, Mr. Edwister, I don't think you pulled out the right piece of evidence there. <laughs> Wonderful supporter there, so willing to point out his boss's mistakes. Damn. Sam Detective Gumshi, you will refrain from excessive talking. Oh, try, sir. Okay. All right. Okay. Maybe we should read all of our stuff yeah. slowly and carefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep it in my Map pocket. Map the park. Uh, There's, there's only, only one, one of each, each badger. Yeah, go to the badger family again, like you had said. What did you throw it at? Nothing. We just looked at it. Uh, oh, I meant the when we said all the things of who was who. Diamond Bandle cumber. Snatch Cucumber Patch. <laughs> Maybe the head. Oh, oh, what are these ones? Okay, I, so. I threw this at the left hand because I thought that maybe yeah. it was the fact that he was wearing the Bad Badger costume, but I was wrong. Body was moved. Shot through the ABD from ABD through the shoulder. Oh, is it like abdominal ABD? Yep. Uh, touch them to check the details. Uh, Shane playing on the Colin Devere. Mobile shop on three wheels was parked inside the Wild West. Uh, was likely wearing one. Do a oh, victim's costume. Real name and history. It was used to jam the door. It was ripped from the Bad Badger costume to keep on firing blanks. We have nothing from the old bag because old bag said that where she saw the thing happen. So probably she saw a totally different thing take place. You know. There was a gunshot. 
See, okay, because my thought is Lance pretended to be her dad yeah. and attack her. Yeah. And then he pretended to get shot by her. Yeah. And then really he actually did. shot him. Yeah. Yeah. And that that's that's how Probably. I understand that this has gone down, but yeah. I don't know how to make it to those places. Yeah, exactly. So go to the beginning of the uh what she's got. Let me, let me press this one more time. Hold it! And you felt your life was in danger, correct? Yeah, so about to die, I thought. So so Wow. That was Hold it! You shot Mr. Deacon. Yes, I shot. Far from done, she hasn't finished her testimony yet. Please. Oh man, we're not getting. This is the one before that? Oh, the very, very, very beginning. One more. Hold it. That was the ransom money, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, identify Mr. Deacon. That's how I was able to identify Mr. Deacon almost immediately. It was all thanks to what Lance told me. And what did he tell you? Called me on my cell phone and told me that Mr. Deacon had betrayed us and run off with some ransom money. About how he had a gun. So, go the one. Is What was the one that just gave you that information? Uh, there was a bad badger pulling the suitcase with a so, million dollars mm, in it. So, go to present. Let's see what we've got to throw at this. Um, I, yeah, this is where we do it. Yeah, in this one. This is where we go. No! So go with that one. Stolen costumes. Was in the bad badger. I believe that is a lie. Yeah. So then go to the bad badger helmet. I think it might be. Okay. Yeah. Wait. No, that doesn't make sense. Because the costume was thrown away. Ah. Because he was wearing. He was wearing the bad badger head and swapped that out later because yeah. he was wearing. Yeah. You throw it. No. 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 Wait. See, what, what's also interesting is that he was holding a gun in his left, yeah. but then he was pulling the suitcase with his right then? Holding the suitcase with his right? Uh, yeah. So he couldn't have had two hands. So I think maybe we can throw the Bible at this? What? Yeah, because he's holding a gun. How do you hold a suitcase and a gun? What? With your left hand? Then? Uh, yeah, the gun right. was yeah, in yeah, his yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I hold my chopsticks it. with my, my left right. hand. <laughs> Right, because yeah, I, I get it. If he's I holding it. a gun in his left, yeah, he couldn't. I get it. Yeah. Why couldn't? Yeah, I get it. Because the gun is in his right, and so if he was pulling the suitcase. But the gun, okay. Yeah, try it. Try it. Yeah, try it. Objection! No. Take a good look at this. Right, so My just, girlfriend, Gumshoe. Yeah. All right, send send, this, send. What do you want to send, Yanni? The head? What, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, send the head. I would say the head. Because that means that... Yeah. 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 I guess it was left behind. I don't know. Left in the isolation. Oh, man. Right? This is a lot of... Yeah, you go for it. Okay. Objection! Oh, my God. We're so bad at this one. Oh. 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 Huh? Where? It's not the least you can use poor helpless girls, Mr. Prosecutor. You have something significant to add. Stuff like jabbit of yours in your mouth. No, <laughs> It's cravat. It's a fashion statement, not a gag. <laughs> That's what I said about my ball. Hmm. You need to call me, listen, present my evidence. Mm. Oh, you know what? Did they just send the Bible at this? Did you already send that? Uh, the Bible? No. But why? Because it's it's sewn into his right hand. But does it say it's sewn into his right hand? Like, this is oh. stuff we are assuming. We should go out based on only the stuff we have. Damn. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, because I used the... I used this. Body was moved. Shot through the ABD to the shoulder. Uh, pending oh, autopsy. God. Exit point. Right shoulder. Lack of blood. So killed elsewhere. Moved, which implies there should be uh. evidence of blood. Real murder site. Wearing one, 
Okay, you know what? It might be like really silly. Yeah. I ran scared for my life, but then who moved the body? Hmm, yeah. Oh. So send the body at that? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh my god, this hurts so bad. <laughs> uh. Wait, hold on. Go to the next thing before you send. Do there stuff. is no this thing. This is the last. Oh. So when you when you press this, I ran scared for my life. What does it say? Does it say use to move the body? Did you take off immediately after following the gunshot? And you didn't attempt to approach the victim at all after he was shot. I was scared. I don't blame you. Uh, oh yeah, we should save though. Yeah. Because things are getting into dire straits. Yeah. Well, the truth around the same, however, I don't believe to be absolutely correct. Listen very carefully to the confession. Hmm. Wait, what? Wait, oh, save, but yeah. I thought you said there's last one. What do you mean last one? Hey, hold on. Just that was the last no, one. No, no, no. We went back to the beginning. Beginning? Yeah. Oh, weird. Rabbi, <laughs> this hurts so bad, he said, having no idea. Okay. At the stadium. Okay, yeah. so we talked about how... Oh, no! Uh, I think that is a good piece, he said. At the very, very end there... Okay. I ran scared for my life. So what does this what does this say? Can we check it or anything? Which does it say? We can, yeah, but it just shows uh it was for the money yeah. tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we threw that at 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 her at this one, right? No, we threw the body. Mm. Body was moved. Mm. What about, does, and that's the uh, that's the equivalent of the autopsy report? That is the autopsy report. It, it's inside it. Footprint shape. Lack of blood. Real name. Prop. Was ripped from the bad badger costume. And we threw this at the left hand one. I'm 99% I'm sure. Yeah, we did. We did. Because mm. it shows him weirdly holding in his right. There's so many things that kind of fit, right. you know? And that's the annoying part. All right. I used the gun I got from Lance. Like you said, holding the gun in his left. Okay, use the gun I got from Lance. And what do we throw at this? Okay. Well, that's the thing. Like, there's only one real what gun. We, what are we even looking to contradict here? Hold it. And you felt that your life was in danger. Correct? <sighs> About to die. I thought so. So so. I shot him. Hold it. I know, Chief Medic. You shot Mr. Deacon. Yes, I shot him. <laughs> the, the move the body thing is, is so <laughs> so good to me. Raphael, let's bring up good points. Yeah, you know, in chat, talk amongst yourselves. Get to know each other. We're going to be trapped here for a while. Why not uh, get to know each other a bit better? Pointed the gun in his left hand, aiming to shoot me dead. So let's actually read through everything slowly and carefully, examining everything, no. except for this. Map, explanation of the park attractions. Mm -hmm. Listed, check button. There's only one of each badger in the park. Try to get the whole badger family. Yeah. That's the one that says, take a picture with every family member, get a prize. Wait, go back. Let's read it slow and careful. There's only one of each and four family members wandering the, uh, throughout the park. Best of luck. Okay. Costume separate into head and body. This head was left in the isolation room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bad Badger's head. Blue Badger Bible. Book detailing info on the whole Badger family. Touch the check button to see. The very first Badger. Bad Badger, a vile criminal with a gun. Blue Badger, an ally of Justice who, wa just Justice who wants peace. Pink Badger, note her unique, unique pink, pink bow. bow. Stolen costumes. 
And all of them are gone except for. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the Blue Badger is Lauren Pops. Proto Badger is Lance Amano. Bad Badger is Oliver Deacon. The body was moved, shot from the abdominals through the shoulder. Touch and check the button for details. Oliver Deacon, age 50. Pending autopsy, cause of death. Preliminary findings indicate loss of blood resulting in a gunshot wound. Entry point, lower right abdomen. Exit point, right shoulder. The lack of blood around the body suggests the victim was killed elsewhere and then moved, which implies that there should be evidence of blood at the real murder site. It's shaped like a horse. Colin Devore is engraved in the back. Blue Badger Mobile. Mobile shop on three wheels was parked inside the Wild West area garage. And that's where we have his dead body. Victim's costume. He was likely wearing one due to the footprint shape and lack of blood. And then... The letter for Lanzamano. Uh, Tender Lender Loan Company. Sender is Tender Lender Loan Company. Call the void dossier. Details. Whereabouts unknown after his escape from Penitent Prison. Stole a gun from a guard during his escape. Oh! Okay. Um, we thought he might head for where his wife and sole daughter are, but despite our surveillance, has yet to show up. So he has stolen a gun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That means he is in possession of, uh, of a gun. Mm -hmm. uh, Wizard from Bad Badger costume. It's capable of firing blanks. So, my guess is this is about that gun. To be honest. What? Where does it contradict, though? No. It's a pen on the ship, her wings. Hmm, has a rather nice aesthetic to it. Hey, nice to see that even you can appreciate its beauty. Things made of platinum silver tend to have a nice feeling to them, you know? I was only talking about its shape, Kay. Oh, was that what you are talking about? Um, but you know, if we're talking about wing shapes, I, I think there's a brooch on my scarf, or the brooch on my scarf is way cooler. <laughs> That's not made of platinum silver, is it? It's handmade, okay? So I'm sorry it's not made of the expensive stuff. Oh. She made that by herself? It's incredibly well crafted. Don't Aww. say it out loud. So if she made it by herself, that's kind of funny. Then was it passed down? I want to look at that dossier again. Because I have feelings about it. Uh, Lauren D is engraved in the pendant. I see they wrote out her first name, but why just the D? Maybe it's the result of poor planning. I guess. Well, at least if I had to shorten my name, I could make it K Faraday. That way, even if you just sounded it out, you'd still say my name, K Faraday. <laughs> I suppose if I had to do the same, we abbreviate it as M. Edgeworth. Hold on! I think you should abbreviate it as M. E. Get it? <laughs> Who would have thought this little pendant could start such a strange conversation? Me. <laughs> Me. That's it. This? Yeah, I want to look at it more. Okay. Whereabouts unknown. Uh, dominant hand right. So he wouldn't be holding a gun in his left hand. Mm. Despite our surveillance, he's yet to show up. It literally says Dominant Hand, right? It does, yeah. yeah. Objection! Fucking wild, man. I have a dossier on your father. It took it took a while, but we got there. And according to this, your father was right-handed. Oh, fucking... And wouldn't hold the goddamn suitcase in his right hand, because that'd be fucking crazy, not makes sense. Ugh. Uh, then. The person pointing a gun at you from atop the stage was not Mr. Deacon. Hold on there, Mr. Prosecutor. I think you need to take a refresher course. The bad Badger has a model gun attached to his right hand. Which is why the only hand he could have had the real gun was his left. Which is impossible. Hmm. Which is impossible. That it w which. Uh, it is impossible that it went down like that. Isn't it possible? Isn't it? Agent Lang, were you paying attention to what Miss Pops was saying? Then again, I suppose I can't expect someone who has never set foot in a court to catch it. Enough with the smugness out here already. Miss Pops told us earlier. There was a bad badger part in the suitcase for one million dollars, Henry. According to you, the bad badger had a gun in his left hand, which would mean that he was pulling the suitcase with his right hand. 
Is that correct, Miss Pumps? Yes, exactly. And I'm sure it was the bad badger. It had those huge sunglasses on its face. But if uh, that's the case, even I can see there's a huge contradiction. Yes. Miss Pops claims to have seen the Bad Badger, and yet the Bad Badger had both of his hands full. These two pieces of information contradict each other, each other so one must be wrong. Um, it wasn't the Bad Badger. Uh, wait. Oh god, what do they want us oh, to do this, here? This sucks because... Oh, I think it's, it wasn't the Bad Badger and then throw the head at it. Because we don't have anything about the thing. I know, but it wasn't the Bad Badger is such a weird way to do it. I, I think that's correct, though. Yeah. yeah. Because both hands were occupied. Okay, let's do it. Miss Pops, what you saw was not the Bad Badger. Think back and recall which character was it that leveled the gun at you. But it was wearing a pair of sunglasses and it had that strange blue beard. That sums up the blue bear or the bad badger pretty well, I'd say. Too bad for you, but it looks like the bad badger was missing. Uh, I think it's both hands were occupied because mm. we can we can say the gun the missing gun was ripped from it. Uh, oh my god, if it's both, I'm be so sad. Something or another. Uh. Oh but man. Why not Wait, what if both, both are, are correct? correct? Yeah, try both are correct. I think. Are you sure, guys? No. So, I'm not sure of anything anymore. We established it was the bad badger. Yeah. Is the thing. Yeah. But you know what? Lang said they're both correct. So, or, oh, sorry, that there's a contradiction, so they can't be correct for us to say you're wrong, Lang. Both are correct because of this. Okay, so you guys want to go with both are correct? Yeah. Okay. I mean, one of them must be right. It's, it's, yeah. It's two I'll against take, one. I, I'll take the blame I, here. I, I'll I, take the blame here. I'm going with both hands. But. They are both correct. Impossible. They just leaves us with an irresolvable contradiction. Miss Pop's entire statement rests on the fact that she saw his sunglasses and beard. But what if that badger wasn't wearing pants on his lower half? Oh this proves that there was a way for the bad badger to freely use both of his hands. Ah, damn. You think, which one do you think it is? This or the head? Missing model. Right? Oh, so uh, no, yeah, 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 no, no, no. Go back, go back to the thing. Go back to the thing. No, wait. That doesn't make any the sense. Head, the hand. Go back to the it's got to be the hand. It was ripped from the Bad Badger, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah, there it is. Take I'm gonna that. Get your head on straight, Mr. Prosecutor, that doesn't show me diddity swat. I knew it when I saw just the mirage. Wait, I can explain. Oh no, it made sense though. Of course. Miss Pomp said the Bad Badger had a gun in his left and suitcase in his Maybe right. we should save. No, I'm not saving. Okay. I can just, I can just answer leave. it again. Yeah. Which is what created this contradiction, oh which ended with what? Tyrant statement rests on the fact that she saw sunglasses and a beard. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's the head. Wasn't wearing pants. Gets us ahead in life. <laughs> yeah. I just want to see him yeah. where I send it. All right. Well, I'm sending the head, yeah, right? Let's do it. Yeah. We're all agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take that! The costumes have two parts of them a head and a body. Oh, I get it now! The head Miss Pomp saw was probably really the head of the Bad Badger. However, it is not possible that the body was that of an entirely different badger. A different badger? Yes. Or to put it bluntly, I believe it was the lower half of this badger. Uh, of this know. badger. The I... body of the Bad Badger Miss Pomp saw really belonged to this badger. Oh my god, I can't go to my thing. Oh crap. It's got to be the proto badger because that was a mono, right? Yeah. yeah. Just, she was the yeah. blue badger. He was the bad badger, and yeah. a mono was the proto badger. So. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Pink badger. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It was old bag. Get her in here yeah. and arrest her. Oh God. <sighs> what the heck is this? It's the proto badger. It's the proto oh, badger. Sorry. My bad. Yes. And it's simple. It's a simple matter of a process of elimination. Miss Pops was wearing the blue badger costume, so we can eliminate that one. And the pink badger is of the wrong color, so that would have been incredibly obvious. All that is left is the proto badger costume. Miss Pops, who was the one that wore the proto badger costume? Oh yeah, look at you over there. Oh, hey, there uh, they go. There it is. 
Are you saying that I think you are? You want Lance Armstrong, Lance Amano, Don the Bad, Bad Bradger's head to pretend it to be Mr. Deacon? Lance is a bad man. Kill the Lance. Bad man. Lance. He plotted to shoot Miss Pops while wearing that hideous thing. The stage that was set up on the stadium was nothing more than a setup. And its purpose was to lead Miss Pops into believing that she had committed murder. Standing there in front of Miss Pops and pretending to be the victim. It was all done so that she would pull the trigger. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Why exactly would I have to do all of that, huh? There is but one reason, Lance Amano. You are the real culprit behind the murder of Mr. Oliver Deacon. What? Ooh. No! That's slander, take it back, take it back right now! Just out of curiosity, Lance, which is your dominant hand? I'm... Why would he do... But that is... What does that have to do with anything? Why it, would he say that? It depends. According to Miss Pomps, her attacker held a gun in his left hand. I mean, okay, if he lied about it, they would just test it. His father would be like, no, Lance, you're fucking left-handed. You've been left-handed your whole life, Lance. Why are you lying so obviously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Like, uh, 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 that would be a I bad choice like, to lie about that. I, not a lie, just being, what is, that has nothing to do with anything. That's super suspicious. You would say, I'm left-handed. Oh, wow, you're going to convict me with that? Uh, yeah, there's a ton of people who are left-handed, Edgeworth. Depends. According to Miss Pops, her attacker held a gun in his left hand. <laughs> what and it doesn't prove a thing. And besides, now you're just being absurd. It's not like the proto badger is bulletproof. One misfire, you would have found himself dead, right? Objection! Of course. Logically, if he had been shot, he probably wouldn't be here with us. But I believe he had thought of that as well and prepared accordingly. And this should be the evidence you need. This is how Lance made sure he wouldn't be hit by the bullet. He dodged it. It's he blanks. He used Oliver as a shield. Oh, nice. L Lance they were both in there. Let's give firing blanks, okay? Mm -hmm. right, well, we're pretty sure this time. Let's do yep. it. Oh, God. We've been wrong so many times. We've never been this low. We found one half of the Bad Badger costume in the hideout. A broken one. It was not the same one that the victim was wearing. Plus, it was missing something. And that something is the model gun that the Bad Badger carries, which can fire blanks. What? Miss Pops, where's the gun you use now? Uh, I threw it into the sea. That, that makes it a bit tough to verify what it was. Although, I believe that we can safely assume it was the model gun in question. I've heard enough. All I've been spouting so far is pure conjecture. I admit that as long as the model gun is lost to us, I can prove I can't prove I'm right. However, I can say that the probability that I'm right is very high. Okay, let's pretend that you're right, and that the murder at the station was a fabrication. Stadium. Stadium. In that case, where do you think the murder really took place, Mr. Prosecutor? I I don't know yet. Hey, Frank, hey, Thanks, Twitch, baby. Oh, uh, Miss Wakana, what up? Can't wait to catch up in this LP and catch more live content. How you boys doing? Dude! We're almost dead. So freaking almost dead, almost man. Dead. <laughs> but you, in our in, in, in not Damn. in not Ace Attorney Land, a great day to be alive. The sun's still shining when I close my eyes, which means I'm going to bed too early. <laughs> Go on. Nine months though, thank you. I don't know yet. <laughs> YouTube doesn't support us. You guys and Twitch does. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We don't even stream on Twitch. Oh. oh, maybe one day. I don't know yet. <laughs> I knew you were full of it. However, I do believe that the murder took place during an earlier time frame. Please wait a second. It's simply not possible. Because, because I saw Mr. Deacon after he was restrained by Lance. She saw the victim in the state of being restrained. Oh crap! Oh my. Fucking god. Uh, Just die! Uh, do I save? Because if I save with one health, that's so just, problematic. Just, just, just go. We're fine. We're not going to lose. We can't lose. Impossible. I came back to the hideout long after the other two. 
By that time, Lance had already subdued and restrained Mr. Deacon. He had tied Mr. Deacon securely to the beam in the room next door. After that, the two of us put on our costumes. The murderer escape. Man, Lance is a dick. Lance is a super dick. So Mr. Deacon must have escaped right after the two of you left, right? We thought That's it right. attract too much attention if the left if we left together, so I left first. We planned to meet up again at the stage in the stadium, but then, as I was walking through the park, I got a call from Lance on my cell phone. Oliver managed to escape, and I looked like he was waiting until I was alone. He also stole the gun from me at that time, and then the murder happened. And then the murder happened. Mr. Deacon must have overheard their plan to meet up at the stage. Well, Mr. Prosecutor, Miss Bob saw the victim with her own eyes. Which means the victim was still alive at that time, wouldn't you agree? Why does that sound wrong to me? There must be something amiss about this account. Let's see what happens when I examine it in more detail. I guess I should save here. Yeah. Do you yeah, think let's, let's push it. Let's that push what things. happened yeah. is they that Lance put uh, Edgeworth uh, in the Bad Badger costume and was like, oh man, I'm tying up Deacon right now. Mm, and funny. then took him out of the costume. Funny. Well, the head was there. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, go on. Push it. Push it real good. When exactly did you arrive back at the hideout? Uh, it was after we picked up the ransom money. And where were you up until the time you returned? I was scouting the park out and making preparations for our escape. Ah. Walked around in the various areas looking for the best route. Ah. So each of them had their own rules to play. After I was done, I went back to the hideout. By that time, Lance had already subdued and restrained Mr. Deacon. How did Lance look at the time? He, well, he looked shocked. He also looked a little down when I saw that sadness in his eyes, so... Thank you, that's enough for now. And what of Mr. Deacon? What was his situation like? Here we go. He had tied down Mr. Deacon securely to the beam in the middle of the door. Are you sure it was Mr. Deacon you saw? Yes, I am certain of what I saw. Did you go into the other room to check? Lance said that it was best if I didn't get too close to him. <laughs> Lance, he's such a god. No, he's not. He's an asshole. Then are you telling me you did not confirm that it was Mr. Deacon for yourself? I checked through the slit in the door and separates the two rooms. He had the Bad Badger's hat on, so I was absolutely sure. It was sure. us. Yeah. That just had to be Mr. Deacon. She saw a Bad Badger head. The captive had a Bad Badger's head on. Mm -hmm. Hold it! Yes, so the tied-up Mr. Deacon was still in his Bad Badger costume. Yes, yeah. It would appear that we, she misread the whole situation. What now? Should I raise an objection? Raise an objection. Yeah? May I raise an objection? The person you saw was not the victim. What? Why not? I will tell you why not. With this. This, Miss Puff, shows us that the person you saw was not the victim. They oh. go to the head and they just examine it first. Okay. Show her the badge! <laughs> I mean, we really doubled down on this, so yeah. we might as well do it, right? Send it. Get silly and send it, bro. We didn't we didn't use this, did we? No, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyways. Doubling down, baby. Let's just do it. Tom Brady and Trump covered. Pops, the person you saw was not Mr. Deacon at all. What? Huh? The person you actually saw was this person. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth. In the third person. It was me. Yeah, real M -E. silly. Conotioda. <laughs> the person I saw was you, Mr. Edgeworth. I always thought it was a bit odd. Why would the kidnappers abduct me even after I'd handed over the ransom? It's not as though I saw the face of the kidnappers. If I were them, I would have just taken the million dollars and ran. Come on, but take a million dollars and run. In the end, it didn't even matter. There was a no. There was a point to it all. It was to make me look like Mr. Deacon. And if that was the reason for which I was abducted, 
and I believe we can assume that the victim was already dead at that time. Well, Lance, am I right? That's... You showed Miss Pops a person, namely me, with a bad badge's head on, and then made your costume escape together, or so you pretended. Oh, what do you mean he pretended? Exactly that. I believe Lance watched you escape and then doubled back to the hideout. Probably to come and remove the bad badger head from my unconscious self. <sighs> and to create his fake prison with the prop sword, he then escaped via the passageway. Hold your tongue, boy. Don't get caught up in that tidal wave of words coming out of Mr. Prosecutor's mouth. Tidal wave? We've heard a lot come out of you, but I've yet to see a shred of evidence. Other than all the evidence you've provided up until this point, the victim's betrayal and his subsequent detainment. Oh, that could have happened while you were out cold. That's right. You were out for quite a while, Mr. Prosecutor. Even if that were the case, Miss Pops would have still seen me tied to that beam. Uh I was scared, Mr. Deacon, so I didn't go into the next room, so I really have no idea if you were in there or not, Mr. Edgeworth. You see, we we'll see that you can't prove it. Yeah. Not so fast! This is a never-ending... Who said that? Oh my god, is Emma coming to save us? Oh, I save think so. Save me, base Emma! Oh. 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 I thought it was K. This is... Please wait. Mr. Amano! Oh, Miles, my boy, it looks like you're really giving it your all. Trying uh, to convict your son of murder here. Lance, it's not good to cause trouble for others. D Dad? I see you are the ones in charge of the investigation, correct? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm sorry that my son has been nothing but trouble. This probably won't make up for anything but have some evidence for you. <laughs> oh, do you now? Oh. Sup? Is that what I think it is? It's a bad badger costume the victim was wearing. And a gun! It's And dual another wielding. gun! I... I couldn't wait around for the police, so I went and found these myself. It appears that they were disposed of in the sea. Oh, there's no one in this country who actually obeys the law. There, there. Now, Agent Lang, please calm down. <laughs> what the heck is that scrap of paper? This appears to be a letter from the Chief of Police. Please allow Mr. Amano complete freedom to do as he sees fit, it says. <laughs> Chief of Police is just like riding off on yeah. a speedboat yeah. with like the rest of the department on parachutes yeah. with the money that Mr. Amano gave them. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Chief of Police? What the? Just who does he think he is? The person who wields the highest authority in this area. Oh, <laughs> there, there, there. Now... There is no need to be so upset. <laughs> I'm not a cop from the list land, so I'm not bound by the laws of your country. Diplomatic immunity just kills everybody. No, no, no. This wasn't meant to strong arm you into anything. It's just a request. I'm only asking that you please respect the laws of the land. Can we say no to that, or we're returning to the topic at hand? This man who found the evidence, its value remains unchanged. But right now, take a look at this new evidence. I've got the results back. I have special forensic research lab that I'm on good terms with conduct the tests. This doesn't sound shady at all. He verified the blood on the costume belonged to Oliver. As for the gun... Let me guess, Lauren, right? You found bitch. Yours, Lauren. You bitch! <laughs> what? You disappoint me, Miles. I can't believe that you, that you would cause my son such stress and heartache. Thank goodness I was able to find the final pieces of evidence. With this, you'll have no reason left to push my poor boy around. 
That's it. These are the case-making pieces of evidence. Ha! I'll be the judge of that. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious-looking nook and cranny. Man, okay, so it's like Lauren went down and threw the gun into the sea, and then, like, later... Yeah, this one. Lance goes down and throws that into the sea. Right? Hmm, what's this? It looks like there's something inside the costume head. Hey, they sparkle! I bet they're really valuable. <laughs> Sorry, but they're just pieces of a mirror. But why are they in here? Oh, remember the broken mirror? Yeah, right? Uh, in the uh, in the haunted house. What, I can't examine that? Examine this. Oh, whoa, no, I missed like that. Eh. Could this gun actually be the murder weapon? What about the other gun? Could this gun... I, oh. I wasn't searching. This oh. bullet hole. It looks kind of burnt around the edges. Oh, wait. Those burn marks were left by the gunpowder. This is a most important fact. Why, wh why is that? Because it's proof that the victim was shot at point-blank range. Well, I guess I got every nook and cranny. Yep. Well, these are not the most definitive piece of... All of these not the most definitive piece of evidence you've ever seen. Uh, Gigi says, yeah, Phoenix, Maya, and Pearl's looking out from the boat. Well, people are throwing a lot of shit into the water today. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. This should be enough to convince Mr. Edgeworth over there. Oh, this is my, my favorite. Get fucked, Lance. Decisive evidence. Make no mistake, there are fingerprints on that murderous gun. They prove that this is... This was a lolly who killed Oliver. But Oliver was also after a lolly's life. So, Mr. Edgeworth, even you must see that a lolly was only acting in self-defense. You son of a bitch trying to cheat. Ka -ka. Skip out here. The fingerprints on the weapon, huh? <gasps> oh no! This isn't helpful at all! Look, Mr. Edgeworth, all I want to do is save a lolly's life. But in the end, all I can do is watch his... This lolly takes the punishment. For that may crimes. be all you can do. However, I still have a case to solve and a job to do. The job of unraveling your insidious lie. You wound me. Why won't you believe me even if <coughs> in all the face of this evidence? Rebut stuff. Man, should we save at this rebuttal or? I don't know. I think we may yeah, we'll save. Yeah, we're gonna get through this thing untouched, but save Cause, confidence. Because I have I have an intro to make still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, well, uh, but I feel like we're like at the end. This has got to be the last thing. It's been so long. Let's con <sighs> let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, I do have an intro to make though. Yeah. Uh, For a f well, finale. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, it, the I'm waiting for the chat. Is what I'm doing. And the chat says. Those fingerprints, are you sure they belong to Miss Nah, Pops? don't keep going. Don't, oh. No, let's finish it off. That's it. That's all I was waiting for. I would stop. I would stop here. Stop here! Says GD. All right, all right, all right. Now, how, this is the longest one. I know we spent a half years. hour. I know we spent a half hour. I know we did that. I know that's the thing that happened, doing the things. But this has been such a ridiculously long investigation versus the other ones. Crazy. Crazy. Stop the press. Trust in Ginger, all of those things. Don't worry, everybody. We will be back tonight with the epic conclusion of Zero Escape VLR Virgo's Last Risk uh, Reconnaissance Mission. Uh, we, If you do like Ace Attorney, though, make sure to tune in Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 12 30. That's when we play Thursday, that. my dude. It's Thursday, my dude. So we're going to be our two ah. main games. Oh, no. Ah. So, <laughs> finale is going to happen. We actually, we're thinking ahead. We are so peppered. Just be ready for this. Uh, we're, we have two events created for tonight. One is private. If it's looking like it's going to be over two hours, we're going to switch to the second event. So yeah. it, there's no processing issues. So and this is how much we're thinking become ahead. Human on May 25th. May 25th. Yeah. Detroit become Human. That's, that's eight days away. Pending time. But yeah, I'm going to play the game when it comes out. Yeah, man. It'll be good. Cool. All right. Well, be there. We'll see you at 3.33 p.m., everybody.